Check it out, guys. New driver's license. What's wrong with your picture? Well, see, I got drunk and then got my picture taken, so that way when I get pulled over for drunk driving, I look the same as on my license. You know, and then the copper the copper will say, oh, you... F Sometimes I grind them up into juice or just eat them raw or insert them anally. As long as I get them into my body somehow. Chicka chicka. And now back to the Fox News report with Rhonda Latimer. Oh, God, that new TV. Looks that way. Great. I need another expense like I need a hole in the head. And I don't need that. I'm telling you, this thing has turned out to be nothing but a burden. Oh, my God, Peter. When did you get that? Yeah, a few of the fellas at work talked me into it, said it was something I might... Yeah, it's so clear you can even see Ellen DeGeneres' breath. Well, my guest today is uh, Seth Rogen, who's got a new movie out. Now, now, Seth, this movie is hot. It's just hot, hot, hot. Uh, how does it... <sighs> I'll get all of the A's out of my body. <laughs> we interrupt this report to inform you Rhonda Latimer has been relocated... I mean, you majored in journalism, and you've never done anything with it. Well, I did write for my college newspaper. Yeah, didn't you do an interview with that fast-talking FedEx guy? Yeah, I ended up dating him for three months. And they distort the truth, and they do the bidding of the Republican Party. I mean, what other reasons do you need? Don't listen to Brian Lois. You'd be great on camera, like I was when I played that dead body on Law & Order. Well, until I got that itch in my crotch. <laughs> All right, Fox News auditions. Take one. And even though this Iraqi veteran lost his hands, he didn't lose his ability to... F Take the job, for Fox's sake. Well? <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Great, here's your contract. Now run home, Lois. Run as fast as you can. Dad, what are we doing? Meg, now that Lois has connections at Fox, we are going to invent our own cartoon show. And we are here to brainstorm ideas. All right, go. Anything that pops into your head. Who knows? Yes, write it down. Hurry, 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 hurry. Maybe they live in a pond? Chris, can I talk to you in the kitchen for a sec? I, I don't think she's getting it. I know, I know she's not getting it, but she's not, there's no part she's not getting it. Well, I was dying to see the studio. Well, hi there, Brian. How's it going, Adolf? I'll have you know my grandparents died in the Holocaust. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. They were there, though. This whole place just feels like a warm blanket. Andy Quacks, episode one, scene one. Let's get them laughing right off the bat. Interior, Red Hiney Monkey's house. What's Red Hiney Monkey doing? Um, maybe he just got up. He's making breakfast. Eh, I don't think people eat breakfast anymore. More suggestions. Hey, now let's take a walk down this road, see where it leads us. Dialogue. What are they saying? Um, maybe Poopy Face Tomato Nose says, uh, boy, this house of cards just doesn't want to stay up. Well, I mean, yeah, if you want to go right at it like a Neanderthal, sure, but it's I... To make sense. I mean, we haven't even referenced the fact that they're ducks or that they're handicapped, but the show is called Handy Quacks. Uh-huh. Chris, can I see you in the kitchen? Michael Moore may be a closet homosexual. We need you to get the proof. Well, if you think Michael Moore's possible homosexuality is newsworthy, I'll do my best to get the story. Big red bum and get a big laugh out of it. Why? Because it's relatable. They'll see themselves in it. I think the design is great, Dad. Good note, good note. Okay, now I also had a thought for a female character who's always nagging at Red Heine Monk. And he's already got the suitcase. Chris, can I see you in the kitchen for a sec? Your writing partner is out of her mind. Okay, first of all, stop calling her my partner. She's, she's terrible. I she's know terrible. that. But... Uh, still nothing. I don't understand. The lights are on. Somebody must be home. And look, there's Rush Limbaugh coming out of Michael Moore's house at 2 in the morning. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it myself. Well, your dog was right, Lois. Looks like there's no story here. Michael Moore is clearly not... Much of our naval fleet has been destroyed, and the death toll is believed to be in the thousands. He's adorable! Okay, actors, welcome to the first voice record for Handy Quack. Colonel Tushfinger? I just built a spaceship. Want to come up in space with me in it? Whoa, 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 cut, cut, cut. Cleveland, what are you doing? 
I just figured I'd give Colonel Tushfinger an Australian thing. You should do the story anyway. You think so? Absolutely. They're hypocrites. They wanted you to do the story when they thought it would embarrass Michael Moore, but they don't want you to do it if it's going to embarrass Rush Limbaugh. But you didn't want me to do the story when it was going to embarrass Michael Moore. T possibly be gained from me getting together with him. In entertainment news, Hollywood comes to Quahog in the form of a new Disney Channel show called Parent Boppers about a group of teen detectives. The show set and filmed right here in Rhode Island. Wow, my son Dylan on a TV show. It's funny how life turns out, isn't it? You remember that weekend we watched TV together? Boy, little did I know how much that was going to rub off. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? I mean, it wouldn't be the craziest idea in show business. When I grow up, I want to stick my head through a circle at the beginning of movies and roar. <laughs> What's up now, bitches? Can you clear out my booth? Looks like somebody left their trash here. Jerome, can you tell that that to get the hell out of here before I kick him in the face? Peter, why don't you just sit in that booth over there? Oh, man, that's where the after-work secretaries sit. <laughs> Looks like a real wave. Joe, I can scream your name real loud. Joe! 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 I can yell it louder. Joe! 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 You want to hang out? Cut. That's a five. Tell my assistant I fell asleep with a condom on again and to bring scissors to my trailer. All right, guys. Before we begin today, I want to introduce our newest staff writer, Brian Griffin. Hi, guys. Really? I'm the only guy here who's heard of that. Stakes, twists, conclusion. Stwistusion. That sounds made up. Let me ask you something. Are you afraid right now? What? No. That's what's wrong. You should be. Peter, Quagmire, I've called you here today because this has got to stop. The petty vine for my attention, the late night phone calls, the attack ads. Glenn Quagmire claims to be Joe Swanson's good friend. There she is, my little Susie Woozy. <laughs> Well, I love Susie more. Give me a Susie. Uncle Peter's gonna give you a raspberry. Peter, that's not where you do a raspberry. Bikes without helmets. Sometimes I just want to put this gun in my mouth. Cut! Your line is, that's right, Cameron. I know. My dad wrote that one for me. Again with this? Okay, Derek. This is the shot you've been waiting for. Dylan, Dylan, there you are. Listen, you can't let them fire me. You're the star of the show. Well, Father. Ooh. Brian, do you know where the hell are you drinking? Is that Rite Aid brand whiskey? <sighs> Stewie, I just feel so awful about what happened with Dylan. I mean, every terrible thing he said about me is true. What are you guys doing up so early? What, what are we do? Where have you been? Well, I certainly wasn't at the Shriners convention. You know what I think, Brian? I think you've got to get down to that si Oh, hey, is, uh, is Dylan back here? Sorry, bro. Acting, singing, pop, classical, light opera, Italian, dancing, classical, tap, jazz, horse riding, can I? Yes. Accents, 13, South American, South African. This is Devlin very much. That is not the captain's responsibility. Well, maybe not where you come from, but here on the love boat. <laughs> now, who is Mr. Devlin? Try skinny dipping with her like when you were kid. Okay, Zach, remember, your character's name is Tevin Ash Taylor. You surf and enjoy surfing. In this scene, DJ Slopes is thinking of quitting the detective agency, and you're like, no way. Got it. We're rolling. Not having a dad? Yeah, I guess you're right. You're damn right I am. Cut! You know, I don't know where any of that came from, but I liked it. Who are you? I'm Zack Sawyer, and I go where I'm needed. No, no, it does not work like that. I need to put address in machine. Okay, uh, maybe you can just take me home then. 
Where is home? I, I don't know. It's, it's my mom and dad's house, but I don't know the address. I take you airport. Okay. Your offer means nothing, Peter. The only thing that means anything to me is a bullet in your arm. Now give me that! Stop! Stop! Come on. You're not Let leaving here without being Look, shot! I was trying to do the decent thing! I'm putting that thing. bullet in your arm, Peter! Ah, oh, son of a bitch! It's over. We're all friends again. Look, Dylan, I'm, I'm really sorry I hurt you. I've been a really bad father, like Ernest Hemingway or, or some other great writer, but if, if you'll give me a chance, I, I'd like to try to change that. I'd like that too, Dad.